gentlemen, the following fight is a bantamweight showcase. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striking specialist and stands five feet seven inches tall. He weighed in officially at 135 and three quarter pounds in his 13 fight career. He has built a record of eight wins and five losses. Fighting out of Boa Vista, Brazil, Wesley Magic Maia. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is an MMA specialist and stands five feet six inches tall. He weighed in officially at 136 pounds. And he holds a perfect professional record of eight victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Manchester, England, Lewis the Magrizla. Your referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. There's the McGrizzler. Lewis McGrillen is in the yellow Dubs. trunks. Dubs. Wesley Dubs. Maya is in the gray. Ready. Ready. Let's go. Southpaw stance, as always, from McGrillen. Maya switching it up. <laughs> These guys, they just, once it goes, it goes. That's what, it, what it's going to feel like to me, I think. They're both kind of holding them back, waiting to get a read on each other, but I feel like this is going to be a barn burner when they start. They're both such aggressive individuals. McGrillen's looking for that little dip. He's going to try and set up that left hand. There it is. Maya shakes it off. As if to say, you're not going to get me with that, but... And Grillen finds a spot for it on the body. Good inside kick there. Nice work by McGrillen trying to squeeze Wesley Meyer towards the power hand. That was a good kick from Meyer. A lot of power there. Oh, great right hand landed there for Meyer. Stumbles McGrillen, cracked him right in the nose. Both men have had success so far in the stand-up. It's a tough test for McGrillen, this is. And as much trash as these guys were talking, there's clear respect for the other man's power from both parties. McGrillen going to the body again with that straight left. He's going to come up to the head in a second. Maya's done a good job of timing his own right hand. He hurt the nose of McGrillen. He's had to paw it at a couple times, and you can see the redness showing on the midsection. The There's right another right hand. Inside leg kick again from Maya. It's a very good weapon for him, especially with the wide stands on McGrillen. Very happy on his feet. A balance again. Maya showing some excellent Measuring of the distance and some timing as McGrillen tries to come in. He is the taller fighter, so punching down a bit. High kick that glances off the guard. He's got a lot of power in those kicks. Maya's doing a great oh, job right right again. Hand. Moving out of the way or counting with the right. And then the, the kicks. Maya's fighting excellent so far. Now Maya in on a takedown. Look at this. McGrillen down. Wesley Maya. He's trying to push up the head of Maya and switch his hips, get back to his knees. But Maya do, is doing a good job of controlling his legs. Strong work here from Wesley Maya. Teaches the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu kids classes at GB Top Team. Really good pressure here. You can see him controlling this back back leg here, trying to keep uh, trying to keep McGrillen flat on his back. Did a good job here. Now we've got the shoulder pressure at the top. You can see him driving into the neck of, Wes of uh, Lewis McGrillen, causing him a lot of pressure. 
Good job by McGrillen to get his leg involved. Trying to create space. Hammer fist from the top. Wesley Maya frustrating McGrillen's efforts to get up, even as McGrillen grabs this underhook. Good job by McGrillen here. Got his leg behind him. Good knee by Maya, though. And then right down into another takedown attempt. Got the hands locked, hips out, down again. We talked about it. The toughest test of McGrillen's career so far, and Maya's proven that. Got the underhook again. And he's either staying close and putting his forehead on the neck of McGrillen or framing and throwing strikes. Nice job on the nice. race. Spin out of that decision, but he's got his hands locked again. Back to the takedown. Beautiful. Good slam there from Wesley Maya. And that can be so frustrating for McGrillen, who's now worked his way to the feet twice, only to be returned to the mat immediately. Yeah, he spent a lot of energy to get back to his feet. And he got back to it, as you said, Sean, but right back to his back. Could potentially take the back here. McGrillen's got to be defending his neck. This is great work by Wesley Meyer. Ten body seconds, lock. though. Triangle on the body here. Knowing the time is short, Wesley Meyer just going to try and finish on top here. Ready, ready. Let's go. McGrillen. Pressing forward, straight away. Oh, Maya! Oh, tries to jump in and then right in to another takedown. Oh, landed awkwardly on the right leg. McGrillen's leg got caught up underneath him. Maya bullying his way into this takedown and now on the back. A lot of adversity to deal with for McGrillen. Really the first time in his career he has to deal with something like this. Body triangle. And so much time for Wesley Maya. More than four minutes to work on the back of Lewis McGrillen. It's difficult for Maya to do work with the body triangle because of the fence in his back, but it's also, also difficult for McGrillen to get out of this position. Now he's trying to lock up a a reverse triangle, I think. This could potentially allow McGrillen, if he, if he scoots out of the back here and throws his opponent forward, that's what he's got to look for to try and toss him off into the center of the cage so he can start to wrestle free here. Wesley Meyer is going to be working on that neck and on that arm. He can't allow that triangle to get cinched up. And you can see Meyer working on it with his hand here. McGrillen trying to unpick it, and he Shot does. There. Nice work by Lewis McGrillen coming out the back door. He's got to get out of this clinch position. That has been all Wesley Maya in this fight. McGrillen is trying to create distance to get free from this position, back to the striking distance. But great job by Maya, who's been pretty much perfect this entire fight. I mean, and look at the strength on Wesley Maya. Even when his body's out of position, he can just push his way through and get into the positions he wants to be. McGrillen is doing a good job here to control the wrist of Maya so he can lock his hands again. And now he's free, back to striking distance. Yes! Oh. Oh. That kick attempt off balance Maya and knocked McGrillen back as well. McGrillen's confidence is coming up, but he's got to set this left hand up. I like him working to the body. It brings the hands down of his opponent. Solid inside low kick there from Maya. And Maya is doing a great job getting out of the way of that left hand. So if you can connect to the head, then you go to the body. McGrillen does a great job, but beautiful single attempt here from Maya, but great defense by McGrillen. There's the left hand. Now McGrillen mixing up the attacks a little bit. He's going to need to do that because Maya has. Two McGrillen. minutes remain in this second round. McGrillen does such a good job of just changing the range a little bit, bouncing in and out. His opponent never knows when he's coming with the attack or whether he's just moving into range. That was a good knee from Maya. Who's now going down on a single. single again. Good defense by McGrillen, but Maya keeps going for the takedown. Beautiful wow. work. He took the space away. McGrillen was backing out and ran into the cage. 
Grillins controlling the wrist. Could potentially set up a choke here, but not sure if he wants to go for that against Maya. The key here is this arm of McGrillen. You can see it underneath the body of Wesley Meyer. That's what's keeping the space between the two. Wesley Meyer's hooked around this back leg, but in the center here, you can see this tightness on this wrist. That's what's slowing his takedown down. Beautiful takedown, rips him off the fence. Good job by McGrillen, immediately building a base back, getting to his feet. Can he get out? He does for now. Under one minute. Wesley Maya is look, looking absolutely incredible today, but McGrillen's only one left hand away from finishing this fight, as he's always. Now, I, I will say that it looks like Wesley Maya's condition is fading a little bit here. He's worked hard and he's had good rounds, but McGrillen can see he's fading and he's going to start to stalk him with that left hand. Hands down here for Wesley Maya. Going to have to be careful. Hands down means he can reach down and grab those single legs, though. Yeah, good job on making McGrill a miss, and then back to the takedown. Ooh, nicely left hand there. Right hand back from Maya. Oh, there's now the he's left coming hand. on. Maya, three punches back. McGrill points to the <laughs> canvas and says, let's go, but now the man wants to swing. Maya taking a page out of the book of McGrill. Keep an eye on the gas tanks here, third and final round. Lewis McGrillen takes center of the smart cage. He's trying to press forward and get Maya with his back against the fence so he can move out of the way of that left hand. Oh. There's the left hand. Snap the head of Wesley Maya. He's gonna go to the body again with that left hand, try and bring the hands down of Wesley Maya. There it is again, and you see he threw the first one straight, then he threw the next one kind of around the corner, and the third goes straight. He's always mixing it up. Wesley Maya, though, knows where he's at in this fight. Two strong rounds, kicking away at the body and legs of Lewis McGrill. Oh. Does Maya have the energy from rounds one and two still? That's the question. Maya's definitely fading here, but he's doing enough to keep uh, keep McGrillen guessing. McGrillen can't just tee off as he likes. Finding a home for that left hand to the body again. Maya trying to kick that lead leg out. Sap some of the power from the left hand of Lewis McGrillen. It's good defense on those left hands from Maya, though. Staying calm. Well, the experience of both Maya and his corner showing here. He knows that Lewis McGrillen's best chance to win this fight is a big shot with the left hand. So he's trying to avoid that damage. He's doing a great job keeping that right hand to his chin. It's a much stronger round for McGrillen holding the center. Beautiful defense there, slips the left. Never change. Attempt. Won't be denied, he keeps working for the takedown. McGrillen controls the wrist so that Maya cannot lock his hands and finish the takedown. And you can see Lewis McGrillen, who's come up from flyweight as he's gotten a little bit older. Uh, and Maya, he's always been a bantamweight. Maya looks like the bigger fighter right now. Yeah, he does, absolutely. He looked like he had a harder cut yesterday, though, which is why I feel like he might be fading in this third round. Good takedown defense here from McGrillen. This is going to be exhausting for Wesley Meyer. He's got his hands locked again. He's going to try and get McGrillen away from the cage again. This overhook here from, from McGrillen is saving him from this takedown. You can see he's got it dug in the back here. That is holding Wesley Meyer up. Really good work, clever work. Now he's got his head position, and he's going to try and circle off the fence and get some space. McGrillen now taking the center again, with two minutes left to work. Side kick from McGrillen. Missed with the left. Nice head movement there from a very tired Wesley Maya. 
Relentless. Another big body kick. Good right hand there from Maya. Nice. Early in the in the fight, he was able to time that right hand very successfully. He's flat on his feet in this third round, though. The first and the second round, he moved out of the way, but he doesn't have the energy to do that again this round. Ties up McGrillen. McGrillen trying to clear this single leg attempt. Maya's got a good clamp on it. Minute to go here. Good defense from McGrillen, but he needs a finish in this third round. He's got 55 seconds left to find that finish, in my opinion. These are good shots from McGrillen, even though they're short shots. Almost got his fingertips together. There he, he lost is. his hands. He's going to drag him away from the fence again. This might be the last big effort from Wesley Meyer. If he's able to score this takedown, that might be might be at least safe enough to get the last 30 seconds without catching a left hand to the chin. Great takedown defense from McGrillen here. Hand fighting, great footwork. But Meyer stays heavy, not allowing McGrillen to go on the offensive. Final 10 seconds. Maya with the closed guard, protecting himself. Tosses his mouthpiece out. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored this bout 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Wesley Ma